In this video I will be explaining you that how a small app almost ruined games like PUBG and Free Fire. But before for that please hit that subscribe button. Since the end of 2019 or say the start of pandemic, the online mobile games industry have rise to the newest heights that we have never seen before. This is mainly because of the whole world was locked inside homes and availability of cheap Android phones was blooming, mostly in India. As soon as the pandemic started it didn't took long for India to become the world's most active largest population for online mobile gaming. This sudden unexpected rise in the industry was dominated by two major games PUBG Mobile and Free Fire. This game started making millions in revenue and industry was growing at full speed. There was a lot of career opportunities. Many professional streamers and gamers rise. Everything was going very smoothly, but as you know success attracts both good and bad. This rapidly growing industry attracted a lot of people who wanted to make easy money. So how a small app which doesn't even have 100k downloads almost destroyed the games who were making millions in revenues and even made YouTube to step up and take action. For that you need to understand about how the hacking works in Android mobile games. Here is a very simple explanation of how the process works. Almost all Android games like PUBG Mobile and Free Fire have a resources file with them. When you download the game it also downloads the resources file. It has all the resources and information about the game. This file is specially created by game companies, but professional hackers can hack these files and change the codes or information of gameplay like important features of character, aimbots, super fast speed like that and creates a new file. But this is not the main problem because not everyone can do this hacking, only professional hackers can do this and then they sell this new hacked files. So now that you have hacked file of game resources, you just need to replace this new file with the original file that came with the game. That's all it takes to hack the game. But it's not that easy to replace the file because game companies are also aware of it and they make it hard for you to replace the original file. And here is used what is famously known as an injector. Injector is a simple Android app which usually has only one function that is to replace the original game file with the hacked file. And here's where Sketchware app comes into play. Sketchware is an Android app which lets you create Android apps. Sketchware is one of the most easiest way to make Android app because it does not require direct coding. It is more like a game of blocks where you have to connect blocks of different features and functions to make your Android app. And since the injector has only one function that is to replace a new file with the existing file, it was very simple to make injector for even a person who doesn't know single line of code. As more people know about it, many users started making tutorials of it and posted on YouTube and many people started selling it on Telegram and it became viral in the community. Many users started buying this injectors rather than spending their money inside the game because using this injectors was more easier than playing with skills. This became a successful hit in the community and everyone wanted to get their hands on injectors. And here the problem started for gaming companies because as more people started using injectors, the quality of games decreased drastically and the gaming companies had to ban thousands of users daily from their platforms, which eventually caused them big losses. It got more worse because many people who were using injectors was targeting famous streamers, which resulted in them quitting or taking temporary breaks. This created chaos in the gaming industry, but still many people were making injectors and sharing how to make them on the internet and this caused so much loss that companies had to step up to take action against it. Gaming companies introduced strict policies against injectors and were removing hundreds of thousands of users every week from their games. Even YouTube had to step up and take down the videos of making injectors and channels who were promoting injectors. But damage was done and still there is a huge market of injectors on Telegram and other platforms where people who does not even know single line of code are making tens of thousands from selling injectors. So that's how a small app almost destroyed big games and cost them to lose millions. If you enjoyed this video please show your support by clicking on the subscribe button and like this video and please comment what you like about this video and what you think about this situation of gaming industry. See you in the next one. Bye.